What is up guys? Welcome to day 70 of on shape. I don't know, take however, this is probably take 10 at this point. In any case, let's build this carabiner pin. Now, I looked online, I found a couple people already made some videos. Awesome, they beat me to it. However, I didn't like the simplicity of the design. So let's talk about it. I am not going to, I'm going to take our Instead of all of these steps to build at the bottom of our barrel pan right here, we're going to do four. So I want you to start to begin when you're modeling, thinking of what is the shortest path using the features to their fullest extent to make the part we need. And I thought about this. If you're making a pin, which is a cylindrical object, you got to be using Revolve, right? And uh, I didn't find a video I did, so let's make a video of it. So let's build this bottom of this pin here, I am going to be referencing this sketch right here. So you're welcome to take a screen grab of it and just follow along with me or make it on your own. If you feel good with Revolve, cool. If not, just follow along with the video. I'd love to make it with you. In any case, let's harp over to New Part Studio and start this sketch. So we're going to hit on the front, we're going to hit View Normal Sketch Pane and let's get started. I'm going to make a really, really long line here. That way, when I get started on my pen, I know this line won't. Uh, actually, it's probably going to change anyway, so I'm going to take all that back. Let's just start off with our sketch. So the first line we're going to have here is going to be a line going perp perp perfectly up. So then that's going to be 0 0.19 divided by 2. Noticed I um, am not using the full dimensions here. We're only using half the dimension since we're going to revolve it. The next thing you do is we have another line that goes straight up. Has a dimension of, that looks like, 0 0.268. Looks good. And there's a three-point arc that connects these two that makes that round part of your bottom pin. Let's dimension that radius of that arc to be 1.5 inches. And there we go. We've already got the bottom of that barrel made. Let's just keep going. There is going to be another line. Uh, actually, hold up. There's one dimension I'm missing because this isn't fully blacked out, right? There is some distance between these two. That's 0 0.563. Okay. I think I have all my dimensions necessary. I'm going to need... If not, we're going to come back. Next line is going to be a length of 0 0.285. Looks good. Here's where things get a little tricky. There is a line that's going to connect from this line, not to the top of it, to this line. But it's going to be a slight taper. Since it's going to be a taper, we're going to make sure we're not going to select the end of the end of the lines because that'll do automatic geometric constraint. We don't want that. We want this line to have a different dimension on its endpoint, and that's going to be 0 0.28. And then same thing over here. There's going to be a different dimension for this line to the center axis, and that's going to be 0 0.233. Looks good to me so far. Let's keep going. We're going to draw a line. Oh, let's make sure we add our last dimension here. This width is going to be 0 0.813. Looks good to me so far. Let's keep going. Next line, we're going to draw straight up. But it's going to be a mix of perfect square. So notice that I went up, 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 and there's some diagonal lines here. Those diagonal lines tell me that an automatic geometric constraint is being applied. And you see that perpendicular line being made. Looks great. Since I know it's going to be a rectangle, see that horizontal constraint also being thrown in there? That tells me this line will be the exact same length, and that makes a perfect rectangular for me. We can dimension this if you want to. Don't need to because it's a driven constraint at that point, because that geometric constraint was automatically applied. So I'm just going to delete it. Call it done. We do have a dimension between these two lines 
and that's going to be 0, 0.0 set by. Boom, we're looking great. We almost got the bottom of our pen done. And I don't know how long is this video so far. It should be like three minutes. Nah, we're at five minutes. Pfft, look at me, not keeping track of time. All right. Last line here is going to be, oh, I don't know what that one is. Let's try that again. Hit line. We're doing that perpendicular straight up. Looks good to me. And this is going to be not attached to the top like it was earlier, but it, I do want it to be horizontal. That distance is going to be 0 0.375. And that height is going to be 0 0.375. Two eight. Notice that my line is a little bit long here at this point, so we can just extend this line out. And there we go. Just to double check, let's look at all my, I've got all my widths. Looks good. I have all my heights. Oh, this one's all the way over here. There's my first height. There's my second height. There's my next one. There's my next one. Things are looking good, folks. This video is gonna work. It's so crazy, it just might work. All right, that's it. We've got our side profile, guys. Let's revolve. So I'm gonna click on revolve. We're gonna do all of these profiles around that center axis. Looks good to me. Hit the green check mark and we're done. Take our origin planes, make them inactive because I just they just get in my way, I don't like them. Click on shell. We're going to shell the back of this pin, the very front of this pin, and it has a thickness of 0 0.035. Okay. Guys, I don't know about you, but man, that's looking pretty daggone good. Like I said, the uh, pin, when it comes to threads, don't like it. However, we can put in a helix to make it look like there's threads. We're going to do a helix by pitch, and that pitch is 1 20th of a pitch. Hit the green check mark, and boom, there we go. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, that will be it. We've made the first part of our carabiner pin from the top down assembly. I'll try my best to get these next videos out to you as quick as possible, but we got to start somewhere. You guys are awesome. Stay awesome. If you have any problems, concerns, feel free to throw them down in the comment section. I would love to help you out. Uh, until then, I will see you guys on the next video. Take care.